Well, you can season your next steak or chicken with a homemade chimichurri, and you can also toss it on your vegetables That's as well. That's right, Chef of Pasture Burgers and B BBQ at Marksbury Farm, Wyatt Sarbacher is here with how to make this chimichurri. Yes, chimichurri. chimichurri. It's chimichurri, a okay. traditional Argentinian uh, sauce condiment. Could be used on just about anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you start by grating some garlic into a bowl, okay. uh, really fine, and add a little bit of chili flake, okay. uh, crushed okay. red pepper, something like that, okay. or dried chilies even will work. Um, olive oil, and then some chopped parsley and oregano. Mm -hmm. About three parts parsley, one part oregano. And then you just get that to your desired consistency. It's great on anything. Grilled beef, traditional, grilled delicious. chicken. Yeah, it's very aromatic. Yeah. The yeah. parsley is more for presentation, though, isn't it? Does it really bring anything, the parsley? It, I don't want to disparage any it, type it of ingredient. It does. It, it brings a lot of floral flavor. So okay. I, I just have some right here. And usually, um, you know, Look you just kind of spoon it over any kind of sort of, you know, vegetables, oh, roasted great. vegetables, grilled vegetables. Keeps for several days. Right here, what I did on it was uh, roasted fennel, roasted potatoes, and just some sweet peppers that I got at the farmer's market. And so. you said it does hold its its consistency, mm -hmm. and it doesn't get kind of wilted. Yeah, you give it about about three days. The, in the acid, fridge. yeah, the acid in the olive oil and as well as the red wine vinegar will start to break those herbs down. Okay, yeah. a red wine vinegar, not mm -hmm. the regular. Red wine vinegar. Okay. It's uh, mm -hmm. you could switch out the vinegars, do it with the white wine mm -hmm. for some seafood, lighter flavors like that. Okay. But red wine and beef just go, go so hand well. In hand. And this yeah. is a traditional Argentinian mm -hmm. uh, sauce, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, you would see in any if you if I stopped at any house in Argent. Argentine, uh, Argent Argentina, Argentina. <laughs> that I would be able to uh, take yeah. advantage of that. Yeah. They'd have it right yeah, there, it's like, great. It's like great. ketchup here in yeah, Lexington. Yeah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I, actually, yeah, I learned it from some chefs in Argentina. So. So you like yeah. to kind of have uh, spice it up and have a little bit yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like to do some different things. Okay. Uh, is um, that what you have on the uh, menu at your? Yes, the uh, pen to plate series. Um, I'm doing the book culinary artistry, which. Uh -huh is just and it's a thesaurus basically just encyclopedia of flavors okay. so you could look through and say parsley okay it goes really well with oregano That's and great. just kind of encourage people to do some different things in the kitchen because you kind of get That's kind good. of you know tunnel vision and you mm -hmm. get afraid to kind of go yeah. out of the box with it step by step with the recipe but exactly. you know i want to just encourage people to get into the kitchen and do some different things and, and experience it. some different exactly. flavors okay. that maybe they're not familiar with what you think I, I liked it i was trying to find an equivalent and i really can't mm -hmm. i mean Salsa, I guess, is, but it's, it's yeah. a lot it's not, more yeah. flavorful. Well, than yeah, that. and you can smell it. Because with salsa, yeah. tomato overtakes everything. Right. That is interesting. I mean, yeah. this has got a good mixture. There you go. I like it. I'm gonna chef Wyatt there. Starbacher <laughs> will be the guest chef for the Morris Bookshop's Pen to Plate series. You can join him October 15th at 730. For ticket information, log on to morrisbookshop.com. Hey, thank thanks. you very chef, much. You. Take a quick break so you can chow down. Yeah, okay. we'll find out who our winner is. Coming up next. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.